And action, hey guys, it's me, your favorite, most annoying. Okay, screw this. Let's just go. Um, Can you guys hear me? Uh, Alright, I can't really hear myself think. But yeah, let's start with my first impressions of Aruba. I'm gonna be honest, like Aruba is not one of the it's not one of those places I really wanted to go that I've been dying to go to for so long. It it really wasn't on my bucket list. If anything, out of the ABC Islands, uh Bonaire was on my bucket list uh there is a connection to aruba we'll get to that in a minute but let's talk about my first impressions aruba was lit not lit like cabo lit woohoo we're getting drunk yeah it was just really chill chilled and relaxing and pretty cool in a way that i really just needed it during this pandemic so I'm gonna be releasing a few videos just talking about how, well, my impressions, how I got to Aruba, what to do in Aruba. I mean, if you're going there, you probably already Google what to do. If not, well, I've got a couple tips for you. If not, well, here we go. So, first of all, I have to say first impressions. I was really uh, impressed by the way the Aruban government kind of handled the whole travel situation especially for tourists during the pandemic they make you get a pcr test which is a covid test not for antibodies they want to make sure you don't have covid 72 hours no longer than 72 hours no less than 12 hours before you fly into aruba all good um check out aruba tourism you can probably find all the details in there I'm not gonna go too much into that. When you get there, it's pretty easy to get in, you know, get your hotel, get everything. Two things I, I really wanna mention right now uh, about my first impressions. 
are the Aruban people. Aruba for such a small island has a very diverse, very rich pool of people. And it's a good way to segue into Papiamento, which is basically Patua for Aruba. It's like Dutch, Portuguese, indigenous stuff. Um, I think the Arawaks were indigenous. I don't remember. Google it. But anyways, the people are cool, very diverse. Papiamento is very interesting. Um, it is really a desert with a lot of cool, um, like white sandy beaches. But anyways, that's 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 really not what I'm talking about here. Uh, hold on, we gotta get a table real quick. Hello. Dine in, you have to go check the other door and then um, check in. Okay, got it. Perfect. Thank you. All right, dining. We'll get back to Aruba. Okay, so what was I saying? Um, I forget. Uh, Aruba people, good. Um, Papimento, basically like Patwa for Aruba. And yes, it's basically a desert. If you are from Los Angeles, if you're from Southern California, you can relate with it quite a bit. As a scuba diver, you have a lot of wrecks to explore, both at any level, uh, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Yeah, you have a lot of good things to explore. What else is there? I'm starting to forget. It's only been a couple weeks, I'm starting to forget. The food is good. The food is very good. Very, very good. I, I've been to a few, I'm, I'm not the, I mean, I, I spent a few days in Aruba and I can call me the professor of all things Aruban. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the point is, I'm not a foodie. I don't have a lot of requirements for my food. I just like tasty food and I like uh, my proteins. Aruba has something for everybody, but more importantly, it tastes good and it's from all over the place. So, Aruba being 15 miles from Venezuela, from the oil fields in Venezuela, it makes it a very strategic position, uh, which was, I want to say, one of the original interests of the colonial powers back in, you know, way back when. Google it, you have to figure out the exact dates. But um, that, strategical posi that strategic position has kind of put Aruba in a spot that benefited both Aruba and well eventually folks like myself they show up for um tourism vacations all right we got our table so i'm gonna cut this one short now first impressions i liked it uh can't complain a lot of good stuff going on a lot of good diving it's the paradise what you would picture a paradise caribbean island looked like and feels like the bugs are not crazy, Thank you. <laughs> which was a problem for me personally in other places in the Caribbean or other places are humid. Uh, Aruba, on the other hand, is not very humid. It's actually, you go from the, the, the palm trees on the ocean to the cactus a mile inland, you know? cactus sand it just basically looks like an arid desert uh, so surrounded by a ton of good ocean there's a lot of fun there are a lot of fun outdoor activities uh, that you can do there are going to be other videos for that i'll go into that in detail but yeah really this was just my personal rant or personal impression my first impressions about the island 
that is Aruba. I highly recommend the place if you get a chance to go. You definitely want to go. Um, hey, how's it going? Um, definitely waters to start with. Okay. Yeah, waters and uh, what's you got a beer special? Or? Yeah, we had to have the hour and drop for uh, Sapporo and stuff. You got it. Sapporo. Okay. I'll take it to Alright, back to the video. Um, I forget what I was saying, but Herbal is cool if you get a chance. Definitely check it out. Oh, cool. It's pretty fun. Um, good spot for divers, good good spot for water sports. Diving, snorkeling, great clear, crystal clear waters. The current can get pretty advanced, can get pretty strong. So you need to watch out for that. Um, great spot if you like kite surfing. Aruba is very windy. I hope you can hear me clearly, but if I was in Aruba, um, a lot of what you're gonna hear right now is gonna be um, so yeah, it's great for kite surfing, it's great for sailing, anything that requires uh, wind to propel it. Uh, those kind of spots, those kind of sports are fun and can be enjoyed in Aruba. Um, yeah, those are my first impressions. I like it. If you get a chance, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. If you get a chance, check it out. It was never really on my bucket list, but it gave me a very impressive appreciation for the Caribbean. And also, Aruba is not in the in Hurricane Alley, so the typical hurricane flows that go through the Caribbean. Just pull up a Google map, you're gonna see it goes through, you know, the Bahamas, Dominican, the the the, the just anywhere south of Florida. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire are all Caribbean islands, but they are all the way on the other side. They're li literally 15 miles from Venezuela. Puts them very close to South America, but they're not essentially, or I guess, politically South America. Well, that's all I've got to say for now. That's all I got to say about that for now. And ciao. I gotta go eat, man. I'm hungry. Talk to you guys later. Uh, I've got a couple more videos coming up. Yeah, do what you will. My, my videos, subscribe if you like it. Don't subscribe, I don't really care. Um, if the stories are interesting to you, let me know. If you hate them, let me know. Not, yeah, so. So heavy. Over and out.